Hello everyone and welcome to another episode here on Talk Daily. Hopefully you have a great day wherever you are in the world and uh, let's dig into the story that comes to us from Car and Driver and written by Jack Fitzgerald. So without any further ado, have you ever thought that your Mustang GT500 is slow? Well, Ford got the answer for you in the form of a 1300 horsepower Shelby Mustang GT500 code red. Now, before we get really, really excited, it's a limited production vehicle. Shelby America announced a limited production of a 1300 horsepower variant of the Ford Mustang GT500 named the GT500 Code Red. Shelby will be building 30 total examples of the Code Red, 10 for each of the 2020 through the 2022 model year. The Code Red will not be street legal. Wong, wong, and it's designed with straight line speed in mind. Price starts at $209,995 before factoring the required donor car, which you will give to them. It's about $80,000 for a Mustang GT500, if you are not aware of that. So, uh, it's, um, I don't know if you, I don't even really want to do that. I, I personally look at it and laugh because my favorite part of this whole article, right? A bunch of English look, look, I mean, it's a good looking car, but <laughs> it's my favorite part of it. It says Shelby America was upfront about the performance of the code red saying, while not street legal, it's very capable, a moderate speed in most any curve we're definitely not talking about the hairpin in laguna seca we're not gonna about we're not talking about the corkscrew you know with the full boost that's not happening but when the turbos spool up the car is best enjoyed moving in a straight line look uh i grew up in that whole era when domestic cars and you had the import cars and whatnot and the whole joke was the mess that goes in a straight line you know there's no substitute for displacement whatever but uh, this is just so cliche for me, you know, when they're saying that uh, you kind of want to be going on the straight line when you spend a step on that pedal. Because uh, what's happening is they replace the supercharger with turbochargers. And you, if you're using EA85, we'll be making that claim power. Now, um, not to take away anything away from Ford. Well, I kind of give you a little bit of what they're doing with it. So anyway, according to the article, Shelby America unveiled the GT500 Code Red at the Woodward Dream Cruise in Detroit this past weekend. So past weekend, where is this? August 23rd of 2022. So do the math. And uh, the limited production model is based on the current generation Mustang GT500. But Shelby pulled the supercharger off the 5.0 liter V8 and replaced it with a pair of turbochargers the engine was re-engineered by nelson racing engine and fitted with a dual fuel system allowing blends of racing fuel when needed engine cooling capacity was increased to handle extra heat when driving code red using 93 octane from pump gas it will produce some 1000 horsepower and 784 pound of torque and when you use e85 ethanol the code red will make as much as 1300 horsepower with a torque moving up to 1000 pound feet now i have a lot to say about this because uh to get that amount of power you could do that with far less amount of money uh that's like the duh i mean i, I was my was my four people out there i'm pretty sure you have four five hundred you could uh, you can put the turbocharger that's so much mod modification support for this vehicle you oh man that has so much to be done to this car you could make that power with way less money but it will not be as a limited production limited series and the collectability value will not be there so if you have the means and the funds this is going to be one of those cars going to sit in the garage somewhere and and I might see some track use, but it is definitely going to be one of those that, you know, can I get you to sign it? Can some famous person sign it for me? You know, et cetera, et cetera. It's going to be one of those cars in the collector. It, I'm not taking anything away from it. I'm not saying it's not worth it, but I know if uh, if you're a gearhead and somebody gives you a check for 209995 and it tells you, can you make that Mustang have 1300 horsepower? I'm pretty sure you can do so with way less and you still have a trailer and a truck to throw it. And uh, so anyways, um, because remember this is not the this is not the price with the car this is the price without the car so eighty thousand dollars for a mustang gt okay so factor that in but anyway it's not gonna have the shelby name tag it's not gonna be you know have the name code red and it's not gonna be backed by 
afford. Um, so I mean, I'm. So I, anyways, uh, it's uh, it, it's fascinating. It's nice and it looks great. And I'm mean, it's bespoke. That's why I said coach. You know, it's kind of a coach built car. It's kind of bespoke. You know, when you look at it, you're getting a car one of a kind, one of a kind, Americana heritage car, and it's only available in North America, basically USA. On top of numerous performance upgrade, the Code Red will have a wide body kit for bigger tires, a new interior, new badging, and a carbon fiber hood. Shelby will take up to 10 GT500s from 2020, 2021, 2022, with a production cap at 30 total. If you're interested in owning one, be prepared to spend. The package starts at $209,995, which not include the $80,000 price tag for the donor car. Hmm. So, let's look further. The transmission has been strengthened. Uh, you get a one-piece drive shaft, Shelby bare brakes and rotors, and 20-inch wheels in front with Pirelli P0 tires and Nito NY55R drag radials in the back. These babies in the back, they stick now. Obviously, visually, you have a wing and a little diffuser and whatnot. Um, I don't know. I think it's, it's great. It's great that you have the option of getting these cars. I always love those options when you're getting a car like this. It's just fantastic. Now, what I haven't mentioned is the automatic is automatic or is a manual. Looking at it, it looks... I can't tell. So I have no idea. And then fail to mention that. I'm going to assume it's going to be an automatic. My, my, my assumption. And not taking anything away from it. That thing is monsters. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Um, the Shelby... Code red. So if you want to have a conversation with your friends and you're saying, well, what's the fastest Shelby? Oh, well, there you go. Uh, I mean, that's fairly quick. Again, it's only on ethanol. It makes a 93 octane. If you live where I live, we don't have 93 octane because of reasons. California doesn't have it, but, but I'm pretty sure get some gas station get it. Again, this car is not, it's not street legal, which is not a reason why I'm like, oh, oh. Uh, you know, I it's, it's a lot of money, but exclusivity. You're getting Ford to build you a car for you, and out of what Ford? Shelby himself. Well, Shelby, the company. Uh, Shelby himself is uh, he's no longer with us. Uh, uh, rest in peace, uh, soul. But anyway, my point is, um, it, it's, it's fantastic. I, I think it's going to be one of those cars that's going to go in in museums for sure. It's um. Uh, it's fascinating, and uh, the chance of seeing one maybe in some cars and coffee in some event you'll see one. Maybe JLN already has one. That's what, probably what I'm assuming. Uh, but good for Ford, and I'm glad they have those options for consumer. Yeah, this is probably not an option for all consumers. For some car enthusiasts out there, hey, you uh, you love Ford, you love you love the brand, you love the Shelby, and you want something that literally speaks to you, or exclusive. You're one out of thirty people. Man, that's what else you want? What else more exclusive? And when you look at the price, I mean, I made a video before about a Bentley, and then it was, uh, you know, costing two million dollars for like twenty example or something. This thirty example, and it doesn't cost a million, uh, including the price of the car. You're looking at what, like two hundred ninety thousand. So, I mean, I know I'm throwing that number out there like I'm throwing Monopoly money, but you know, hey, if you have it. Why not use it? If you like it, that's what money is for. Enjoy it. So anyways, um, as far as this, 30 models are going to be made. 10 every year from 2020 all the way. I think they're going to start production 2023. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, drive safe, be safe, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.